arise stay on the flood as flood ravaged 36 state in nigeria we keep on talking about flood unicef gives the details of children affected uh, their way forward the flooding ravaging states in nigeria have left many including children in extremely vulnerable situations children affected by the flood are said to be at high risk of being downward or contacting waterborne diseases to address the situation unicef has called for increased funding challenged towards interventions that will meet the immediate needs of the children and other vulnerable groups meanwhile with flood ravaging at least 36 states out of uh, the states in nigeria out of 36 states over 34 have been affected states across nigeria and the federal capital territory the united nations children fund has meanwhile warned that a total of 1.5 million children are at increased risk of facing their effect of the humanitarian crisis and today's in a statement released on friday october unicef released out some of the dangers faced by the children affected by the flooding including waterborne diseases drowning and the manipulation according to the international agency these children represent 60 percent of the entire population of 2.5 million children who are in the need of humanitarian assistance due to the flooding meanwhile describing this year's incident as the most severe flooding in the past decade UNICEF called and said that why 600 people have lost their lives, 2,000 houses, and 2,000 houses have been partially or fully damaged. On this note, in addition, it stated that 1.3 million have been displaced since the first report of the flood this year was cases of uh, diarrhea and water borne diseases respiratory infection and skin diseases already on the rise children therefore living in extremely vulnerable situations due to flooding unicef representative in nigeria christian mondulta expressed worry that children are I do send in the flood affected areas across the country are uh, in extremely vulnerable situation at the moment. Mandela said this population of children are not risk of uh, are at of high risk of contracting the waterborne disease and as well affairing emotional and psychological stress. This was reading big. UNICEF is working towards with the government and also other partners of the to provide life saving assistance to those who are most in need. She added that the flood are contributing to a secret different level of the complex and already existing humanitarian crisis situation in Nigeria. My wonderful people calling for a focus on the immediate uh, priority need for children which include health, water, sanitation and hygiene as well as a shelter and food. UNICEF said additional funding and resources are required to, re to respond to growing needs that would help sustain ongoing humanitarian interventions such internationals. Such interventions the agency said must focus on the most vulnerable including children with disabilities. In addition, meanwhile, UNICEF's Children's Climate Risk Index states that Nigeria is considered at extremely high risk of the impact of climate change. The country ranks second out of 163 countries. Children in extremely high risk countries face a deadly combination of exposure to multiple climate and environmental shakes come with a high levels of uh, underlying children vulnerability due to inability and inadequate essential services 
such as sewer and sanitation, healthcare, and education. All right, my wonderful people, it was also added that to date, UNICEF has supported the government to response in three affected states, Jigawa, Niger, and Kaduna, including though the provision of cash assistance, distribution of uh, chocolate, skates, uh, government-led mobile health teams uh, temporarily, uh, learning centers, and uh, learning skates and the uh, cholera skates. With this additional support, UNICEF has called up its response in other states to provide self-saving medical equipment and essential medicines, glorification of water and sanitation supplies, as well as to support the prevention of and response to sexual and gender-based violence. Flood crisis in some states to force Nigeria's inflation rate higher. Food inflation in Nigeria is expected to further increase as a result of the heavy flood in some states. Nigeria's inflation rate increased by 20.8% in September from 20.52% in August in highest rate since 2005. Why going by what we are experiencing in Benue, Kogi and others, food prices will further increase as a result of heavy flood that have destroyed the farmland and the export had said. All right, and as part I've already been saying that the United States promises over one million dollars for Nigerians flood victims fear the surge of a waterborne disease. The US government had promised one million dollars in humanitarian assistance to Nigerians affected by unprecedented flooding. Meanwhile, the support will provide emergency shelter assistance, relief accommodation and the commodative and the commodity and the commodity and the hygiene skills to promote safe and healthy practices among other benefits. My wonderful people, we are also concerned that standing flood waters would increase the rise of cholera and other waterborne diseases in Adamawa, Bonue, Bono and Yobe State, not forgotten that of Benue. All right, my wonderful people, that's coming shortly from Lunard, as Lunard have said this one. As flood ravaged 34 states in Nigeria, UNICEF gives details of the children affected and their way forward. Well, that has been onto this matter. I would like to have a take on this. Thank and God bless.